Hello everyone, welcome to another episode. In this short video, I'm going to be doing a review on my depth finder I recently purchased for the bow of my boat. Um, this is the Lowrance Elite 7 HDI with broadband band transducer. This is the um, traditional sonar and chart plotter combo, so it has the GPS and mapping and your traditional sonar um, all packed into one unit. So today I'm going to go over the features and um, some of the things I like about it. I hope you guys stay tuned and enjoy this video. Okay, so the new things for this um, transducer, is, this is a fairly new unit. I think this is one of their newest units to the Lawrence lineup. Um, the cool thing about this unit is it's a fairly good price for what you're getting and um, it's a pretty big display. It's a seven inch display and um, you can have multi-window displays so you can have you know your GPS and your traditional sonar um, all in one and you can look at them you can split it down the screen so you can look at it um, at the same time so you don't have to keep flipping back and forth and you can customize that so if you want your GPS larger and you want your sonar smaller you can do that if you want the same you can do that or vice versa it's just um, customizable so uh, you know this one retails for six hundred dollars and I also have the Orange Elite 7 HDI, but it's the um, the 83 200 kilobertz, I believe, transducer, and the the um, it's a, it has the down scan transducer on it, so it has two types of sonar and the GPS. That's the one I have on my console. This one just has one type of sonar, so this one doesn't have the down the down scan. So the, the this has the broadband transducer, where the other one has the um, down scan transducer. So that's the only difference between this one and the one I have on the, the console of my boat. So um, we're going to unbox this. The other cool thing about this, you know, my other one, I'm running an avionics chip, Hotmaps Premium. So you can, um, it comes with the, comes with some contour lines on the lakes. And, um, but it's really, if you're going to start fishing offshore, you know, ledges and that, that type of stuff, it's really not going to be a little, enough in my opinion so I went ahead and bought the Navionics um, hot maps for this one so you can put it in the um, the actual unit and it'll enhance your maps it'll give you very detailed um, you know contour lines for ledge fishing and whatnot but the overall GPS is accurate and um, it'll show you everything else on the lake you don't necessarily have to get the, the chip but it's it's a good investment so let's open this up so there it is. Um, it comes right up on top. It's very good packaged. Lawrence, in my opinion, um, they do it the best. I just like their overall setup. So there's the overall unit. It's a pretty big display for what you're um, paying. And it's also a, um, a widescreen. So it's not traditionally like a square. It's more like a rectangle. So it's a widescreen, which I like. And um, that's the overall unit. So you got two pin connectors. You've got your, your NEMA or your power and your um, sonar and then your NEMA 2000 so this can actually communicate with um, with other Elite 7s and Elite 5 units and it can also communicate with HDS units they can share waypoints and it's pretty cool to do that and I'm going to be looking to do that so when you mark a waypoint on either one of them um, it will automatically be transferred over to your other unit so you don't have to so no matter where you are you know where your waypoint is. So that's pretty cool. So there's the unit. We're going to set that aside for a little bit. Look at the bottom box, you pull this white little cardboard tray up and you got all your um, your um, accessories. So it comes with the mount which you can, it snaps on easily. It's all adjustable if you can see those little grooves and it's really easy to put this on and just slide it on to the notches on the actual unit and then you can put a pin through it and adjust it. So what I like to do, I think it's the best way to mount these units is I put mine on a ram mount. So um, the ram mount, this is normally what they mount it with is the mount that comes with. So you mount that right on the bottom of the boat. What I use is a ram mount so it has another plate that mounts onto this and then it's on these two balls that you can adjust it to any way you want. So. It's kind of hard to explain, but um, it's a really good way to mount your unit so you can adjust it any way you want to. 
not just so you can adjust it like that, but you can adjust it any way you want to because it's on a ball. So you can adjust the 360 any way you want to and it's just a real good way of mounting I found and it works really well. So here's the transducer now. The first thing you're going to notice, this transducer is the um, broadband transducer I believe. Let me make sure on that. It's the um, yeah broadband transducer. So this transducer is a smaller transducer. This is like a skimmer type and um, the other, if you look, I'll show a video and if you look on the um, on my other transducer for my HDI that has the down scan, you can see it's quite larger. So that's because on my, my other unit it's packing two types of sonar into the transducer. It has the down scan and the traditional. This only has the down or the not excuse me, the traditional sonar. So it's a little bit smaller transducer, um, just because of that reason. So if you get one of these, you're gonna know why um, this one's smaller. Now I'm not sure if you can upgrade later. I think so far I've looked at the units and this unit is like identical to my other unit. Now I'm not sure if the internals are the same. I'm not positive. Um, you'd have to look that up if you can buy the down scan transducer later and you can hook that up to the unit and then you'll get down scan. I, I don't quote me on that. I'm just I'm um, assuming right now, but you might be able to do that. That might be an option later if you don't have enough money up front. But, um, you know, that's what I just went ahead and got the traditional since I already have downscan on the back. So, next is you get your power cable. And um, this is the, they come with the 7 pin blue pin um, connectors. And this is your power cable. And then you come with your knobs for your mount. Um, looks like some splicing, some screws, and stuff of that nature. And then it comes with some more mounts. Like I said, I don't, I don't know exactly what all these are for because we get um, a marine shop to put it on for us. And then your, um, your Lowrance Elite Seven combo um, warranty sheets and your manual. So. As you can see, if you look right here, that is the down, the down scan. I'm not sure why they have it on here. Probably because it's the same menu or it's the same overall um, manual as they use for all of them. But if you see right here, this is the down scan. That's the traditional, and that's your mapping. So this one only comes with those two, the the, tra the traditional and the mapping. My other one has the um, down scan, so that's the only difference between these. And it's like a hundred dollar upgrade to get the down scan. So there's your overall unit again. Fairly nice screen to look off of. Um, I almost got the Elite Seven or the Elite Five, which is a five inch this screen, but I figured just get the bigger display screen, it'll be a lot better. And um, that's what overall what you get. So you just have to figure out what you're going to be using it for. Whether you need the larger screen, whether you need the down scan. Um, whether you need the mapping just like that and figure out what you're going to be using it for and um, match that to um, what unit you pick out. So like I said, I already have experience with these units because I use my one on my other boat since um, middle of summers and it's a very nice unit. It has a very good picture on it. It's very clear. You can see your drop shot tracking down there. We've caught fish on it like that. Um, you know, I've used the mapping to ledge fish on it and caught fish doing that. So it's a very good unit at affordable price. I highly recommend it. Thank you guys for watching and um, let's hope it warms up soon so we can go fishing and I'll see you next time on Big Bass Master 1.